guys, it's Amory. Welcome back to my channel. So for the last three years, ever since moving to California for college, I've seen that my skin has improved dramatically. Like if you've seen some of my earlier videos, you can tell. And it was just kind of always there. Like I always had some pimple or breakout. People have asked me like what my skincare routine is or my acne free or like how to get rid of acne routine is. I feel like I've developed a routine that has really been working for me and it might work for you guys. I think this is the clearest my skin has ever been. And also my um, scalp because that's pretty much an extension of like your skin, your scalp is very like similar. First of all, I just wanted to mention that there are probably so many factors that have gone into like making my skin clear. And also I use really specific products but I think that the products are less important than the routine itself. Just because I'm showing you guys specific products doesn't mean that this is like what cleared my skin or like this is what I'm using all the time. I change that up all the time, but these are like really good products that I have been liking lately. Um, and then the second thing that I wanted to mention is that I've never really had like severe, severe acne. So I don't personally have experience like really clearing bad acne. So this video is probably not for you if you are looking for that. Yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, and I haven't done like a beauty video in a really long time. So I'm excited to do this and I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's just get into the video. We're definitely gonna start off with the shower because this is where all of my clear skin pretty much happens. Growing up, like literally until like high school, I used to wash my hair every single day and then I realized that it's not very good for your scalp and it really dries it out. When my scalp dries out faster, my hair gets greasier faster because my scalp is trying to restore its natural oils. So while I wash my face and body every day, I try to just wash my hair every other day. Here's a question for you guys. I have a very, very set routine in the shower. I do the exact same thing every single time, and usually that starts with the top of my head to the very tip, uh, top, bottom of my toes. Words. So do you guys have the same routine every time, or is that just me? This is a shampoo that I'm using right now. I got it in Korea. It is a Korean beauty brand called Skin Food, but they also have it in the US, so it's definitely available. This is the peppermint flavor scent, and it smells really good, and I think it's really cool because it has like a cooling slash tingling effect, which just feels really weird, but in like a good way. So I'm gonna be 100% honest. Sometimes I have scalp buildup and like little flakes, which is never fun, because that's, it. no one likes that. So I went to Aveda, Aveda, and they have scalp experts. They told me in order to target your scalp, what you do is you do kind of a first wash to get all the dirt and oil out of your hair, and then go back and target the scalp by massaging the product only onto the scalp. So I work at Neutrogena, this is not a sponsored video, but since I started working there I tried out this tea sal gel which is specifically made for buildup and flakes and stuff like that. And this actually works very, very well. Whenever I feel like I have buildup or just like a dirty, greasy, gross scalp, I use this and it helps like clear all of it away really, really well. So like I was saying earlier, I do a first rinse using my normal shampoo and then I'll go back with this product because it's very scalp specific and I'll massage it directly on my scalp. And it calls for you to leave in the product for a while, so I'll usually just wrap my hair in a little bun at the top of my head and then go on to the next thing, which is usually washing my face. So face wash is something that I definitely change up a ton, but lately I've been using this Dermalogica brand. I always say Dermatologica. <laughs> and actually another embarrassing thing, shortly after this video I realized that I was using this wrong in the shower. And it's not usually a product that I actually use in the shower. I like to use this outside and it really makes sense because you're supposed to apply the pre-cleanse to dry hands and then dry face and then rinse it off with water afterwards. And then the microfoliant is also a dry product which is very unique and you just pour it onto wet hands and then a wet face and then it acts as like an exfoliant. So I actually listened to the How I Built This podcast on this company and the founder created this brand because she didn't see a lot of products in the market that didn't have irritants in them. That's what I really like about this. It's kind of weird at first when you use it because we're so used to having formulas that are really good smelling and like have stuff in it, but this just seems like a very much more natural and simple kind of cleanser that just really does a job. So after I'm done washing my face and rinsing all that stuff off, I will usually rinse off all the shampoo and then I will follow that with conditioner of course. I actually really like to focus the conditioner both on my scalp and at the ends of my hair. Just like the rest of your body and your skin, 
your scalp can also get dry. So it just makes sense to moisturize your scalp with conditioner, so that's what I do. And finally, I've just been using this shower gel from Bath & Body Works. They have some really good smelling stuff, but I usually change my body wash up a lot. After the shower, I'll usually get out and wipe off any excess makeup with makeup remover wipes. And I just started using this serum, which is also from Skin Food. I do really like these two face lotions or face moisturizers from Belief, which is also a K-Beauty brand. And then from Pixie, which I did not expect to like this so much, but I really, really like the consistency and feel of this moisturizer. And then sometimes I'll blow dry my hair out a little bit. I usually don't even blow dry at all just because I like to give my scalp and my hair a little bit of a break so I'll usually just air dry my hair. And then before bed I'll put on my absolute favorite chapstick which is from Jack Black. I've been using this for years and years and years and then I'll also try to usually put on some lotion on my hands for whatever lotion that I'm using. And then when I wake up my lips are super soft and so are my hands. So fast forward a little bit to when I wake up. After a night's sleep, I don't wash my face in the morning. And this is something that I used to do like all throughout high school. And I did this every single day, but I realized that this tends to make my face really, really oily throughout the rest of the day. I think it's the same thing with like over washing your scalp. Your body is just trying to replace its natural oils. So it kind of just speeds up that process. So I usually just rinse my face off with water and then pat dry my face and this made a huge difference in the level of oiliness that my skin had. And then finally I always put a moisturizing sunscreen on before I leave my house with no exceptions. Sun protection is extremely important, it's probably the best thing that you can do for your skin ever. I recently picked up the Neutrogena one that I used to use in high school again just because I worked there, but it's also just a really good product, especially because they're oil free and I tend to get oily. So I really like this one and it's just really important to put sunscreen on if you're going out in the sun at all. And then that's pretty much it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumb up to let me know that you liked it. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, I just kind of don't do beauty related videos anymore. But if you like those types of videos or like just any type of video, if you've ever wanted to see me do any type of video, comment down below and just like let me know. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.